Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try and reach 2650 on Lee Chess problems, puzzles. Um, currently 2637. As usual, I'll start with an easier one. So minus 600 coins, so it should be rated right around 2000. Then I'll do minus 300 and then a normal one. Uh, just to start off a bit easier, hopefully and get warmed up. I'm not feeling too well today, but I always say to myself, what happens if you're not feeling well on the last day of a big tournament? You either have to pull out or play. So it's sometimes good practice to try and put yourself into situations that aren't so comfortable or where you have to struggle a bit. And I've had a bit of a stomach bug. And anyway, let's stop with the excuses. <laughs> uh, white to move in this position. First time seeing it. And let's go. Make sure I'm not too big. So white to move. Checks captures threats as usual. One, two, two checks. One capture, two captures. But anyway, checks. Um. Okay, sorry. This is a check as well. Did I say this? Maybe not. Rook takes g8. Check. Material. Sorry, queen. Uh, rook two pieces, queen rook two pieces, okay. So rook takes check, forces, knight takes, right? And then in that position, we have a check, which looks like a fork. But we can also pick up this knight for free. And pin the queen. So as it stands, material is equal. So trading rooks and then winning a piece, and forcing the queen trade, probably is the solution. Because let's calculate just for completeness, uh, if we give the check on e8, forces king a7, and if we were to take the knight, um, black has this check to calculate. It also looks good, because, I, ah, okay. If we go here, for example, then there's more knight checks. Um, we can't go to the h file because of queen here, maybe. So just uh, check what's going on. Queen e8, king a7, takes g8. The only check is knight f3. If we go to f2, there's queen h2. If we go to f1, there's knight d2. Yeah, I think it's much simpler. The, the solution, the, the point of the problem is probably to pick the sim simple way and not have to calculate if the other way is winning because it might not be winning. Black might have heaps of checks because the queen and the knight could end up surrounding our king and possibly checkmating. So, Ah, wait, I missed that there's f4 blocking the... Oh, no, but we, we win a piece. Okay. Probably an indication that I am not feeling 100%. Okay, that gave us a whole point. Let's go. Number two, clicking down here, the difficulty, minus 300. So it should be a lot more challenging. Um, okay, white to move. Interesting. Rook and bishop, rook and knight. Down a pawn, and this is very close to queening, but we're very close to checkmating. The rook leaves the back rank, it's checkmate. So interesting imbalance, we say. Um, okay, starting with the checks, there's one check, which forces king g8. And then we have bishop b3 check, which forces king f8. Then we have it. Then we have a choice of either rook h8 check or rook f7 check. If rook h8 forcing, I'll do the arrows actually. I got into a habit of doing circles for some reason because it's a bit. I don't know. It doesn't clog up the board and it helps me. I'm not a big fan of arrows because obviously when you're playing you don't have arrows. But I realize for visual, for completeness, it's they're useful for sure. Um, so we should be three king. F8, rook h8, king e7, and we'd have to go, the only other check is rook back to h7, which means we have to calculate what happens in the other line after rook 
f7. So if they go to g8, we win the rook with the discovered check. King g8, rook d7, discovered check with the bishop. And then we pick up the rook, stop the pawn. So after rook f7, I have to go to e8. And the king is completely cut off. Wow, this looks nice. So my a quick calculation is I wanted to make king g7 work, which threatens bishop a4, but it's not quite checkmate. So the rook's on. I'll start again with the arrows. Rook h7, bishop b3, king f8, rook, uh, rook f7, king e8, and then king g7 threatening bishop a4, but it's not even checkmate because they can block. I know, but then our rook comes down to f1 and stops the queen. So um, after king g7, we're threatening bishop a4. The problem is if they queen, what happens? Because the queen will defend the check. So if they queen... Um, ah, we have rook f8 check as well. Does that do anything? Wait. So bishop a4, queen takes a4. Ah, they will... Yeah. Um, And if rook f8, king here or here, but they've got a queen, yeah, so king g7 is too slow. So in the position with the king here, rook here, and bishop here, it's our move. Black's king is cut off. Mm. seeing anything. What if we... In this position, do we have anything else? Not really. Here, here. Because if we fall, we lose the rook. In g7, they queen. What am I missing? Think, think, think. Rook f1, way too slow. Ah, wow. Just then. Okay, I'm definitely not switched on, but it's a good thing to note. So I went right back to the first move and I realized that this would be checkmate if the king can't go to g8. So that's why bishop b3 immediately comes to mind. And... It's a forcing move, we're threatening checkmate, mate in one, if they're queen, rook h7 checkmate. So they have to block their, this is a difficult to stop, right? So they have to block with knight d4, for example. But then we just take the knight. And the, the same threat, if they queen, checkmate on h7, if they take with the rook, back rank mate. Wow, I had to see that quicker. One of those things where I spent too long calculating, um, trying to force something instead of going right back and looking at all the obvious moves um, or the most forcing moves. So this threatens checkmate. Um, they've got no checks. King has no moves. Very nice. And now we can take, be up a piece, right? They have the same threat. It's unstoppable, basically. Checkmate unstoppable. Very nice. Okay, if that was challenging, this one's going to be... Even more so, obviously. So, should we rate it around nearly 2650, this one? I always forget, sometimes I forget to say that you should pause the video if you want to try and solve these yourself. Um, but they are very tricky. Even better is to put it on a real board. I usually do difficult puzzles on a real chessboard, just so I'm used to the physicalness, the actual board that we play on in tournaments, and so it's better for your eyes. A little bit better. Okay. Uh, queen, two rooks, bishop. Queen, two rooks, three pieces. So down two pieces. The king's very exposed, so that's our compensation. Um, 
Okay, checks. One, two, three to calculate. Captures, not really. This one. And then there's some threads, but let's start with the checks. I see a big thread actually, a nice thread as well. Well, then maybe it's not so good. So, yeah, checks. Bishop h6 loses a bishop. Bishop takes f6. Don't see anything after queen takes. And what's the other one? Queen takes f6. Doesn't look good either. I was thinking the threat, one threat is queen g6, threatening discoveries, but. And they're not even good discoveries, even if it, if it was our move again. Uh, I don't really see the follow-up, because it's taking the knight, they take... Well, then there is check. So against queen g6, I was thinking just king f8, and I don't see anything. So I'm trying to get a rook involved, so some rook lifts come to mind, actually. But threats, so... Um, threatening checkmate, threatening pieces, and looking at tactics, alignments, undefended pieces, no undefended pieces except for this bishop. Uh, trapped pieces, not really. Alignments, okay, pin denied. Okay, so this threat should have come to mind a lot sooner than it did because they're attacking the pinned piece. The knights attack twice, but pin, so it can't move or they lose the queen. So a good option is to attack the pinned piece. Um, and although we are down two pieces, so even if we win the piece, it's not okay. But the threat here is to win the queen because they're threatening pawn takes f6. So after e5, they can't move the knight, they have no counter attack against our queen or king, for example. So they have to either they can't move the queen actually because we pay with devastating effect. Consequences. So e5, they have to take. Mm -hmm. a recapture. So we've got a pawn on e5 attacking the knight. I'm assuming bishop has to take. Okay, and then after bishop takes, the bishop's now pinned and the knight's pinned to the queen. So we're not winning anything yet. Taking the bishop doesn't achieve anything because queen recaptures and everything's the knight still defended twice. Um, so I mean, the bishop lands on e5. Can we attack the bishop again? And the answer is yes. With ah, but I was thinking rook here attacking the bishop, but then they have bishop h2 check if we take. The bishop, we lose the rook. Well, then we might checkmate, taking on f6. Okay, so this requires precise calculation, obviously. So e5, takes, takes. Bishop takes only move. Again, we're threatening the knight if the queen just sidesteps somewhere. I don't even know where. b4, for example, then we take on f6, and it should be mate in a few. Um, I'm intuition tells me that we'd be checkmating. Uh, so after bishop takes, I was thinking rook a5. There's also c5 in that position to block the pin on the block the attack on the bishop. Although then we just take with the rook and re-pressure e5. So after rook a5, there's also as I said bishop h2 check. But I was thinking to take the bishop, accept that we lose the rook, and just go for checkmate. With queen takes, if h7 we should have mate, yeah, taking on f7 is mate, and if uh, f8 we take the rook with check, and if g8, um, if the bishop wasn't here we'd have rook g5 check. So, um, hmm, maybe it's better to take, no, so queen take f6, king g8, where's the knockout blow there, maybe rook f, no, there's a bishop on d7, um, 
bishop h6 threatening queen g7, but rook takes h6. And if rook g5, rook g6. So after rook takes g6, ah, queen takes h6, threatening rook g5, checkmate. And I don't think black can escape. Wait, there's also a bishop on d7 to consider. But if that's the solution, let's calculate it again. So e5 takes, takes, takes. Bishop's now pinned. We want to attack the pinned piece with rook a5, threatening rook takes bishop with devastating consequences. The only way to stop it, apart from c5, which we just take, is bishop takes h, uh, bishop h2 check. Now we could also go to king f8, uh, king f1, to maintain the attack on the queen. Maybe that's the way to go. I wanted to just accept, sacrifice this rook and go for checkmate. But king f8, still down two pieces, but the queen's attacked. Um, although they can sacrifice the queen, takes, but I'm assuming that's losing. They can't defend f6. So in, after bishop h2, it's a question of king f1 or king takes h2. King f1, how do they defend f6? Rook h6, maybe. Uh, rook h6. Wait, no, no, we're attacking the queen. Sorry. Yeah, they can't defend both, right? Ah, queen d8. And then it's not so easy to attack f6 again. Wow. But surely we have something. Maybe not. Yeah, well, what's different in the line of king takes h2? Ah, because the queen's not defending f6, yeah. So king takes h2, queen d8. It's the same line, but we've still got... Um, we've taken an extra piece, and maybe just, hmm, rook a e5, Queen g6, actually, threatening those discoveries, looks good. The king moves, the knight's still pinned. We'd have queen here, check, actually. Wow, crazy. Um, let's start one once more, make sure it's all forced. I think we're on the right track. Sorry if I'm taking a bit long. You can obviously skip forward. <laughs> takes, 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 takes. Rook a5, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Um, apart from bishop h2, there's nothing. Bishop h2, and if king f1, there's queen d8. But if king takes h2, they can't take the rook because we just checkmate. And if queen d8, that's the critical position, because we're only, we're still down a piece, and but we should be winning. Where, rook, where? Hmm. If our bishop wasn't on g5, we'd have rook g5 check. Um... If we take on f6, queen takes. Surely there's, some, surely there's something here. Ah, wait. No, queen g6, check. Can't block because of rook g5 from a8, from a5. So they have to go to f8. And then. What am I missing? Sorry for that loud noise if it was too loud. Okay, I'm gonna start. Intuition tells me this is correct. Well, it's all very forcing. And in a game, you can obviously make your move. You don't have to see the whole line for moving. It's good practice too, but sometimes you just have to play a move, right? 
So in this position, with we want to attack the bishop, which is pinned. Although, no, this doesn't work. So we attack the pinned piece. The only way out of the pin, the rooks can't defend, so the only way out of it is bishop h2. Then we have a choice. Uh, king f1, or king h2. So, is there anything else here? Wait, I didn't consider this move, which attacks this pinned piece. The knight can't help. But we're down two pieces, so even winning this piece, the king's going to be safe. So I think this move, we need this move to get this rook into the attack with tempo. Wow! All that calculation, trying to see the follow-up. And all you had to find was rook a5. <laughs> so yeah, the point is, black's just super tied up. They have to give this desperado check. And then the queen has to go passive on d8 after we either play one of these. Let's try and quickly, before I turn on the engine, after bishop h2, what's the best move? Probably king takes h2, forcing queen d8, because queen can't take the rook. Let's practice once more. King h2, rook, uh, queen takes. If queen takes king g8, what did I say? Um, ah, maybe we take the bishop and take the rook, right. Bishop takes king here. Then we have a check. Yeah, probably better to take with the bishop. Okay. Best move for black? Moving the queen somewhere, not this. Check. So this is not even the top three moves, huh? I mean, it's not so much losing. So we have, okay, king f1 loses to queen d6, protecting the bishop and the knight. Yeah. Ah, no, it's... Yeah, okay. I probably should have seen that. So we take the bishop, much more simple, pretty obvious that taking this rook leads to checkmate. Um, let's see, mate in... Ah, it doesn't announce mate. But very close. Either bishop takes or queen takes. Okay. Uh, hopefully you learned something watching me struggle with these tough puzzles. And I got to 2650 on Lee Chess. I've already been to 2700 on an old profile, but still pretty happy. These ones take work. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.